This is Boxing Talk 8576. Um, I'm going to pose this question to the YTBC. If you could pick any heavyweight, past, present, or <clears throat> any heavyweight to... If you was making a fantasy heavyweight and you wanted to take a heavyweight and say, okay, this heavyweight has everything I need to take attributes from and to build a great heavyweight who would you pick and i was thinking about this long and hard man you know what i'm gonna take riddick bow rick riddick bow to me had everything a fighter needed fundamentally um in his prime and and when riddick bow was focused to me he had all the tools like he can throw every punch. He can throw the right hand with power, the hook with power. He had a powerful jab. He had great feet. He can fight well in the inside, great in the inside, as a matter of fact, for a tall man that was like 6'5". I think Ray Bowles was about 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 if I'm not mistaken. And he can fight on the inside great. Go look at those Holyfield fights that he had. He was fighting great on the inside you know, for a big man with those long arms. And he can and he throws with combinations. He's one of the rare heavyweights that actually throw combinations. Not a lot of heavyweight throw throw combinations. He threw combinations with fluidity. And to me, and he had a pretty good chin too. To me, Riddick Bowe was a great technician in the ring heavyweight and he had power to go along with it so that would be my pick if i was building a fantasy heavyweight and i only got to pick one fighter i would take riddick bow and build off of riddick bow but let me know what heavyweight you would uh take uh like comment subscribe this is boxing talk 8576 i'm out